Hey, what's up, everyone? It is BrickLover18 here today with another episode of Mini Build Monday. Today, we're going to be taking a look at set number 5001622, the Lego Store Employee Poly Bag. I wanted to take a look at this set in particular because it's not really your typical poly bag, it's more of a minifigure. But this one has a kind of a unique story and it is still a mini build, so let's check it out. This poly bag is pretty unique. It actually came out in 2013, which is almost 10 years ago now, which is pretty crazy. 2013 was about a year after I got really passionate about collecting Lego and about a year after I started my Lego YouTube channel. And I remember this poly bag coming out like it was yesterday. This poly bag was a mystery when it first came out. Not many LEGO fans knew what it actually was, they didn't know where to get it, and it was just kind of appearing on fans like the BrickFan or the BrickSet.com. Nobody really knew about this poly bag. And then in late September 2013, the BrickFan was actually the first one to report that LEGO fans started to receive this minifigure in their LEGO shop at home orders. This is around the time where LEGO had just unveiled their new mobile site on LEGO shop at home, and anyone who was placing an order, regardless of the amount or like the size of the order, was getting this minifigure included. I thought this figure was absolutely incredible and I really, really wanted to get one. Unfortunately, this minifigure didn't seem to be available in Canada. I remember during that time period I placed a few LEGO store orders and unfortunately one never came. However, all the Americans who were continuing to place orders for unlimited quantities, very small orders, were getting these poly bags. I thought this minifigure was, like I said, incredibly cool, and it was such a shame that we couldn't get it in Canada. I'm going to show you the minifigure in a little bit more detail, but I just remember back in 2013, I was so jealous of all the Americans getting this poly bag for free in their LEGO shop at home orders, yet here in Canada, we didn't have the mobile site, so we didn't get this poly bag. I was fortunate enough to end up getting this poly bag a few years later, probably around 2015, 2016. The last time I went to Philly Brickfest is I think where I picked it up for like $7 or something very, very cheap. I think from the Brick Show even. So I was absolutely thrilled to finally get my hands on this poly bag and I've had it in my Lego collection ever since and I'm very, very happy with it. And it's just, it was a cool poly bag. I, I don't know why this was one that I wanted to get so, so badly. One that was so high on my wish list. But I, I was not going to let anything stop me at getting this poly bag. Now that you've heard a little bit of the backstory around this poly bag and why it was, you know, so important for me to get and so unique I would say even though thousands of Lego fans have this poly bag now let's actually take a look at it in a little bit more detail and show you the minifigure close up so this poly bag only had five pieces in total, four parts for the LEGO Store employee minifigure, and then one 2x4 brick. Of course they included a 2x4 brick because that's a classic. You'll see one of those at every single LEGO Store you go to, and there's literally nothing special about it. It's just a 2x4 brick standing up beside the minifigure, as you can see here. Nothing special. The minifigure itself, in my opinion, is really cool. So it's not actually similar to the LEGO Store employee uniforms that they wear now, but I believe back in 2013, this is roughly what the uniforms may have looked like. I don't know. I tried to find some pictures, but I couldn't tell. It's got just regular black pants on. There are no printing or anything special about that. But the torso is pretty unique. It's a collared, it's a black collared shirt, which is actually what the uniform requirement is currently still at the Lego store, except now it's a black collared shirt with an apron over top. This one has got no apron, but it is a black collared shirt. It's got a few stripes, which is actually not allowed at the Lego store. You're not supposed to have any stripes or anything like that. So maybe it's not officially stripes. Maybe it's just uh, like the design of it, but it's also got a employee name tag. These employee name tags are not even close to the ones they wear at the LEGO store. It's got the LEGO logo in someone's name. This one looks like it's more of an ID badge with a actual silhouette of a person as well as a spot for the name. The face here is pretty cool looking. It's just a standard face. I actually don't know if it's ever been included in a LEGO shop minifigure before. Mine, I think, I don't know if it's purposely meant to be a little crooked. Mine looks a little creepy. It's like a half smile or whatever, but I do really like the hair. It is the uh, reddish brown, or yeah, it is. It is the reddish brown spike tear piece, which looks really, really cool. And then on the back here, there's actually no printing or anything like that as well. I mean, originally when I got this minifigure, I thought there was uh, the Lego logo, uh, but that's not the case. It doesn't have Lego anywhere on the minifigure or anything at all. Uh, and then that's what the back of the head and everything looks like. Overall, like this minifigure is relatively plain. Like it doesn't say Lego anywhere. It's not crazy exclusive. Obviously, you're not going to find the torso anywhere else, but at the same time, there's nothing 
incredibly special about it, I would say. Why I was so invested in getting this Lego minifigure, I'll honestly never know. But I remember back at the time, it was such a big deal that I picked this one up. Uh, but I still think it's really cool and really unique. Like, I'm very happy I have it, don't get me wrong. But yeah, it's not as special as we once thought. And it wasn't so rare. Like, thousands and thousands of people had it, just not thousands of people in Canada. I think one of my main selling features was honestly just the design of the poly bag. I absolutely love how it looks. I love how bright it is with the yellow colors and I love how it's like a, th a rendering of the Lego store. The employee has got that big smile right at the front with the classic 2x4 Lego brick and I just think the whole thing was designed really really well. Like. It looks so cool. It looks just like a Lego store, and I think that's why. That's what really sold me on the set, and that's why I think I really wanted it, because of how much I love the look of the poly bag. The minifigure is okay, but I still think this poly bag looks absolutely amazing. Shout out the graphic designers. And then on the, you can see the back is pretty plain here. This is how I opened it up, because I didn't actually want to rip the poly bag. But still, it's looking very, very cool. Alright guys, thank you so much for checking out today's mini build Monday of LEGO set number 5001622, the LEGO Store Employee minifigure. I really hope you guys enjoyed listening to my story about why I wanted this poly bag so much, as well as a little showcase and review of the actual set itself. Anyway guys, thanks so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and of course subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.